Hey guys, it's Sam to Geek, and today is Samuel Rambles. <laughs> Did I offend a lot of motherfuckers this week? <laughs> you see, whenever uh, Mr. Westside Steve ever needs some drama, I can easily create it. And I found that, um, you know, controversy is my specialty. All I had to do, all I literally fucking had to do is show an error and put a witty, clever title and... People will freak the fuck out. I have learned that PlayStation 3 fanboys stalk my page like a fucking vulture to find <laughs> conspiracy theories <laughs> that I'm a fanboy. <laughs> How fucking lame do you have to be fighting over fucking <laughs> plastic and metal and trying to find conspiracy <laughs> theories? I'm sorry, motherfuckers, but... This is just fucking ridiculous. In fact, I was going to see 2012, but I decided that a bigger disaster is to actually argue with these fuckers and see how far they would go. It's hilarious how far people will take this shit, alright? If you want to see some of the most hilarious arguments I've ever had with anyone... Penguin Guy Reviews has to be one of the most pathetic motherfuckers that I've ever had the grace of arguing with. I mean, I'm not really arguing. I'm really trolling because it's easy. It's so fucking easy. And this guy, he like says he hates me so much. He follows my Twitter. He fucking subscribes to me. He watches every single one of my videos and comments. It's hilarious. I mean, if I don't like someone's videos, I won't watch them. I just, if they're that bad, I'm not going to watch them. He makes it sound like I'm the worst YouTuber ever to exist. Obviously, he hasn't seen a lot of people on YouTube, but <laughs> whatever. Now, we've done a lot of shit Freeze Cracker this week, all right? Mr. Vane Zyler made a uh, braid for PSN review right, after, right before his PlayStation 3 died. <laughs> Poor guy. This is like his third fucking one that he's going to have to buy a Slim now. Mm, be interesting. Hey, Vane Zyler, if you're watching this, which you, I know you are, uh, you should do a comparison video on the slim versus the fat. Like, you've owned both. I mean, you're going to own both, so that would be very interesting. Um, HD did a Lego Rock Band review for the 360, and I, of course, did my Modern Warfare 2 Intel's guide, which has the weirdest motherfucking, uh, like, view structure ever. It's so weird how people viewed these guides. The first one got like almost 3,000 views. The second one got 900. And the third one is stuck on 600. I don't know if it's YouTube's view system that's fucked up. Or people only needed help on the first couple. I don't know. I know the last couple were actually really easy to get. So maybe that's why the third one didn't get as many views. But some of the second ones are hidden some very asshole -ish places. Fucking Infinity Ward, man. Um, I'm actually planning on keeping the PS3 version of Modern Warfare 2, and I will get the 360 version, because I've recently come into some money. And, uh, speaking of that, I might get both versions of Assassin's Creed as well. And, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get Left 4 Dead 2, or I'm going to wait for that for as a Christmas present, because I know that Vayne's going to review it, so I'm not going to review it. And, uh... I know that only a couple of people I know I'm gonna, is going to play it. I am going to review the new Peggle Knights expansion. I'm going to review Borderlands. Might review Call of Duty World at War. I mean, not World, World at War. What the fuck? <laughs> you can tell I'm tired as hell. I don't know what is this today, but I am hyper slash tired as hell. And whatever, man. <laughs> so, yeah. Once again, I, 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 I just want to say PlayStation 3 fanboy is... I can't, you can't deny that they're the worst. They are the fucking garbage of the gaming industry right now. I mean, holy fucking shit. This week alone, I've seen so many train wrecks from them that I can't, I can't stupefy them as a gamer. It, it only makes the entire gaming community look embarrassing. I mean, seriously, they are the evangelical Christians of the Christian community. It's ridiculous how insane, batshit insane, they will go just to prove a fucking point. Holy shit, man. <laughs> I mean, it, like, honest things like graphic comparisons, alright, between Assassin's Creed 2. 
you could tell that Assassin's Creed 2 on the 360 had like sharper animations and shit, and they went fucking insane, and they spammed the shit out of Eurogamer and other places just because of that, and it's just insane, man. I just can't believe the fucking idiocy from these people. Your system is doing better. There's no need to fucking argue anymore. I mean, all the systems are cheap as fuck now. So, like, if you only on, if you only have a PS3 and you're that pissed off that some games aren't going to your console, an Xbox is less than one hundred dollars used. All right, and it's two hundred bucks new. It's so fucking cheap. If you really, really want to play Gay Tony, there you go. All right, you don't have to make a big old petition and shit. No one's gonna care. And PS3s too. If you want to get a game, fuck, just buy one. They're cheap as hell. Two ninety nine. You get a Blu-ray player? I mean, shit. That's very, very cheap. Um, so I don't see the problem in owning multiple consoles. I, I, I don't know. Some people have such a fucking loyalty factor that they can't, you know, stand people owning more than one console. I mean, what the hell? I don't understand this. I mean, even the Mac versus PC guys did not get this crazy. I know a bunch of Mac users who have PCs and no one fucking bitches about them. I know a bunch of PC fanboys who own Macs and no one bitches about them. It's all, you know, subjective, all right? Everyone has preferences. Everyone's biased. That's just how it fucking is. <laughs> and even the game companies aren't this passionate about the console war as these fucktards, all right? I, and I hate that Kotaku makes news about it. Of course Major Nelson owns a PS3. Of course he owns a Wii. How else would he know about his competition? What, is he going to use internet to try to justify his opinion? That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to be fucking honest right here right now. If you're using the internet to dictate your console choice, you're dumb. Because you're not going to experience it. You're not going to, you know, experience the whole console and get an honest opinion of it. You're going to get a biased bullshit opinion from someone who's had bad experiences with one or the other. That's just honestly how it's going to be. So, you know, that's just going to, it's going to, that's how it's going to be. That's just, that's all I have to say. All right. Um, got into the Battlefield Bad Company 2 beta, and uh, I love the game. I love I love all these games. And that's another thing. Modern Warfare 2 versus Battlefield Bad Company 2. They're two fucking different games. If you're going to be comparing things to Battlefield, compare MAG. Because that's the only thing that's even close that's going to come out soon. Because Battlefield isn't even in the same type of shooter genre as Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 is a fucking shooter that you just play in small matches. It's not really competitive. It's all fun-based. It's... But it's a casual shooter, all right? It's the Madden of shooters, all right? It's nothing to be so fucking, you know, hardcore about. And Battlefield Bad Company 2 is basically a big team tactical type of shooter. It's completely different than Modern Warfare 2. It's like comparing Peggle to Tetris. It's different. They're two different type of puzzle games. They're meant for different people, all right? It's kind of like comparing Galaga to something like uh, Ikaruga. It, they're different, man. Um, but people don't see this shit, and people love to bitch about pieces of plastic and pieces of fucking uh, just discs, you know. In reality, that's all these fucking video games are. They're fucking, they're fucking discs, you know. I don't know. People, people never cease to amaze me about how upset they can get over this shit. All right. I mean. I own all three consoles now. I understand when I was younger, you know, 15, when I first joined YouTube, for example, I was a little more passionate, but I've never been, been as passionate as these motherfuckers, all right? It's just ridiculous. I mean, the fanboyism only goes to a certain extent till you, you should start questioning whether your priorities are straight. So, yeah, I'm playing Peggle Knights right now and a lot of other shit. Um... And that's basically what all that's going on with me. I mean, I could dwell into my personal life like a lot of other of these fuckers, but you fuckers don't care, do you? I mean, that's what I love about YouTube. Like, the most hysterical motherfuckers care about your personal life. It doesn't fucking matter. I mean, I'm on the internet to give voice my opinion about video games. And that's all I'm here for. You know, I want, I want to make you laugh a little bit every once in a while, too. But this is just outright ridiculous how fucking crazy these people get.
Um, yeah, so if you want to hit me up on Battlefield Bad Company 2 Beta, hit me up on PSN, Sam of the Geek. And if you want to play me in, let's see, what can I play with you guys in on Xbox? Well, right now I'm playing mostly single-player games like Gay Tony. But maybe Forza? I fucking suck balls, but I'll try it. So if you want to hit me up on Forza, it's Tess Amiel. Sam out.